Hello everyone, this is Damon with Pixnub Software, and this is just a quick video to discuss a new free Photoshop panel that I've just released. And the purpose of this panel is for text replacement and resizing with sports teams and individual um, sports templates. So when installed, this is going to be under the window menu in Photoshop, under extensions, and under easy text. The purpose of this is really twofold. First, it's going to speed up um, your workflow if you are creating sports comp compositions manually. And the second thing is this will help you set up your templates for full automation with our sports photo automation plugin. Because the text replacement and resizing in this works exactly like the sports photo automation plugin, which by the way is the plugin that used to be called Chroma Key Lab. It was just renamed, but it's the um, same plugin. So when you open this, your window is going to be over here. I like to um, put this right in the Photoshop menu myself. And this does resize so you can um, get it out of the way when you need to work with your layers or expand it when you need the um, whole te template or the whole panel. And you can also resize if you need to see more of your text. I like to keep it minimal because even if the text goes um, past the field, it's still going to work correctly. So in any case, let's just get started. Um, I'm just going to grab an image and throw it in the template here. This is kind of how you'd work if you were doing your templates manually. You'd find your player layer, put that in, move it, scale it into place. I don't know, I'm not going to be too picky with this. It looks good enough just for the demonstration. Um, so now what you do is you just fill out your text you want to replace. Now this is set up in a table format. The first column is your layer name and it's going to look for layers with these exact names in the template and then it's going to replace the text with the text you put in and then resize according to the resize method you use. It does have five custom fields so where, where you can type in um, custom layer names that are in your template. And then there's 10 fixed names, and I highly recommend setting all of your templates up so they use the same naming convention. It's going to make your life a lot easier. And that's why in this um, panel, I just locked the layer names down for these 10 because it's common um, layer names that make sense to use anyway. So in any case, I'm just going to demonstrate here. So I'm just going to give this a first name. position, a number, and um, in this template I put the um, year and the team all in one layer under team name. So that there's no rule that says you have to have the year and the team name in different layers. It's just, just make it work for your own template however you do it. So in any case, um, the next thing is to set the resizing up. And in the case of this template, everything is X resizing. Um, there is X, Y, and A. X is horizontal rescaling, Y is vertical rescaling, and A is angled rescaling. And in the case of angled, it will automatically figure the text angle out for you, so you don't have to worry about that. You're not required to use this. This is a completely optional column, and in some cases, you may not want to use it. For the example of the player number, um, if there's a situation where certain players have single digit numbers, and certain players have double digit numbers. If you rescale, those single digit numbers will really stretch out to fit that whole space and it may look better just to not rescale. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to not rescale it, but since it's two digits, it's going to be the same space pretty much anyway. So I'm just going to hit replace text here. And depending on the number of layers you're doing and whether you're resizing, it'll take, um, the amount of time is going to be dependent on what you have entered in there. So that was pretty much it. And you can see if we go to the um, history, if I move back one and then forward one, you can see that this text takes up the exact same size because it's rescaled the text um, to, to your or what it does is it measures the previous text and then it scales it so the new text is the exact same size if you have the um, 
resize set. And one thing about text too is it must be in point text format. That's how this is programmed. And if it's not, it's going to give you a message that says it can't rescale that. So what I mean by point text, if I just um, double click one, if you see so your text is just underlined but you don't have a bounding box, that is called point text to where the bounding box is the dimensions of your text, more or less. And so it expands or contracts to your text. And you set that um, in your layer if you right click. And in this case I hit convert to paragraph because it's already in point text. Now you can see there's this bounding box. So if you see your text has one of these bounding boxes, what you're going to want to do is right click that and hit convert to point text. And then you may have to move the layer in position. It may move it for you after you do that. But once you're set up in point text, um, the template is ready to go. And keep in mind your um, text justifications as well. There's left, centered, and right. So for the case, I'm just going to demonstrate this here actually. So what I've seen a lot of templates actually do when people have had problems with this text replacement and um, they usually I get a, a email that says, hey, the text replacement's not working right. Well, it's not that it's working right, not working right, it's that the template's set up wrong. So for example, this first name, I'm going to set this up to left justification. And I'm going to just move it into, into place. So what I see a lot of is where text is set up centered in the template visually, but it's set up with left justification. Now if you're using auto text resize, it's going to figure that out for you and make it so it fits the exact same footprint. But for the case where you're not wanting to use auto resize, So as mentioned, there's times where you don't want to auto resize and you want to um, just replace and have the text absorb the scaling of the new text. So let's say, you know, we got this name Matthew in here. Let's say the next player's name is John and we're not resizing. If we hit replace, you see what happens. Now it's um, left justified, so it's snap aligning to the left side. So it's important to know visually how your template is set up and how you want your text set up. So let's say you want that centered. I'm just going to undo this. And in your template here, if you keep that center justified, and what happens with center justification, you see, I'm just going to manually start replacing this text here. If I just start typing letters in, you see it's keeping those centered. Now I'm back at left justification again because I went to my history panel. But in any case, if it's left justification, you see as you're replacing letters, it starts from the left and to the right. So I'm just going to undo that here. I'll go back so now we are center justified again and we can see that here. And then if we replace this, I'll do that again. You see it keeps it centered. And then if we were to use X scaling, then it's going to stretch that to fit the exact same footprint that the original text had. Anyway, that pretty much sums it up. Um, if you've used the Sports Photo Automation um, plugin, you're already familiar with how the CSV layers are set up, and so you pretty much know how this works anyway. This is just a handy tool for the time when you are not batch processing and you're manually doing some images. And for the times where you want to help set your templates up, this is a really good tool to help you do that. Anyways, thanks for watching. And if you're interested at all in this um, panel, please be sure to visit our website. That is pixnub.com.